great. It's affecting a lot of stuff, Jen. Yeah, not so much here in the United States, Natasha, but it's something we're really going to watch because it could affect millions of people around the world. Wheat prices at nearly a two-year high. Basically, Russia is having this huge drought. They're usually the biggest seller of wheat to the world, but the drought has ruined much of their crop. So they just declared that they are keeping all that wheat to themselves because they've got to feed their own people. Now, in the U.S., we are mostly safe from price hikes because we've got the biggest U.S. wheat crop in 23 years. But as prices go up around the world, you could see little price hikes here and there. Really, uh, it seems like what experts are saying is because it'd be farmers and companies saying, oh, we, we had to raise prices to just make a little bit more money for themselves. But while for us it may be a few cents here or there, who really gets hurt here, though, is millions of poor people around the world in places like Egypt that depend on that Russian wheat. They could literally starve because they can't afford food anymore. So it does mean that any donations you give to world food charities, for example, could go a lot further. Natasha, back to you. Yeah, it just breaks your heart to think uh, of people starving because of it all. Jen, thank you. The preview. Hey, Jen. I really wish, Natasha, that I had better news for mm -hmm. all of our viewers who are looking for jobs or maybe you know somebody who's out of work, but the latest state of the jobs market is weaker than expected. In July, the economy lost 131,000 jobs. That's July, but even worse, June looked worse, too, when they did a second look here at the June numbers and how many jobs were lost then, too. You see the unemployment rate at the bottom of the screen steady uh, at about 9.5%. Um, so the stock market is down on this news. Here you see the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Woo. There we go. I'm, trying to, uh, I'm trying to gesture towards the little pointer that's right here. Here we go. This takes a little while sometimes. But uh, we had federal government workers losing some of their jobs and state and local workers losing some jobs too. More than 14.5 million people, Natasha, out of work right now officially. And we know that number is really a lot higher. So slow start for Wall Street today. Back to you. Yeah, that's just, oh, that's a huge number. Um, yeah, Jen, the disappointing news.